myself. Know this. Killing is my business, ladies. And business is good. Hey, everyone. This is Khalif PvP bringing you another Thief playthrough. Uh, we're playing in the Battle of Capricorn, my least favorite map, and uh, we're actually playing a joke build that I created uh, out of pure boredom. Um, it's taken primarily the beach using um, Cluster Bomb. You've overtaken uh, I'll post up the, the, the build guide, the build video later on, but um, overall <laughs> I had fun with this build. It's uh, it, you know, it's not one of your best builds that you'll find out and about. But uh, in terms of fun factor, you know, I'm tired of seeing pistol whip, backstab, and condition, uh, condition builds. I want to do something that was different. So I was like, you know what, let's try the this. Beach is yours. And uh, I actually ended up having some fun with it. It was, uh, you know, it was definitely. Definitely unique. Uh, I don't think a lot of people were expecting it, so they had that uh, surprise factor to it. But again, it's primarily just spamming cluster bomb, um, and it, you know, cluster bomb does a lot of damage with it. Uh, one thing I want to say about cluster bomb: you want to try and explode it uh, as close to the ground as possible. Otherwise, you can go back and see. Uh, otherwise, you'll see that um, that. The spread, the spread for the small bombs, they're too far in between that you're not really doing that much damage. Um, so you want to try and explode it as uh, low to the ground as you can. As you can. Unfortunately, I'm, again, this is the very first time I was playing this build. Um, I'm, I'm not good with kind of judging, uh, judging that distance, especially from a far range. So that, uh, you know, I, I'll usually what I'll end up doing is exploding it either prematurely or I'll do it, I won't, I won't blow it up at all and I'll just let it go. Um, but, you know, if, if, if you play this more, if, if you have a lot of experience with Cluster Bomb, uh, with blowing, blowing the uh, Cluster Bomb detonation, uh, I think you can definitely do some massive damage that you'll see here, you know. Uh, the way I want to kind of explain it is, each number you see that's popping up, uh, assume it's three times that, because it's actually only three times. This is that you can't even see them because the numbers are stacked uh, right on top of each other. Uh, other things about the build are basically just, it, it also puts the uh, condition, the bleeding condition on it. So even if you don't kill your target, it puts, I think, it comes out three or four bleeds on it so uh you know it you have that little bit of a buffer in terms of damage uh that you can use here i go down because again i don't think i have any defensive skills at all um i just literally put together something right before this match started and i was like you know what let me see how the, how well this goes and if it works out too well and uh I, I definitely think I can probably tweak this out a little bit more and get get uh, get a little bit more uh, viability out of it. Um, right now, I, I have my utility skills. I don't think I have anything useful. Uh, I tried to pick, you know, uh, I tried to pick uh, traits and utilities that I thought would be somewhat beneficial to me, um, but. Again, I, I definitely I think can't see anything. somebody can kind of use this as inspiration to come up with something that, uh, you know, that actually is viable. Because right now it's not, I, I don't think it's viable, but it's fun. It's really fun. A um, couple benefits that I have in this build is uh, Mesmers. I just outright rape them because they, you know, Mesmers rely on their clones to kind of deceive you to try to attack the wrong one. With uh, with this one, uh, it, I don't care if you put up clones, I'll just blow them up anyway uh, while damaging you because it's a, it's you know, an AOE. Uh, again, you look at those damage output. You're hitting for 700, uh, so 700 times three, you're getting about. Anywhere from 2100 to 2200. Uh, it's really you know, close to 21 to 24. Um, 21 to 2400 hits per three initiatives. That's a big, big, uh, big thing I want to point out is it only costs us three initiative to cast the skill.
dock's been captured. So is it what, again, with what I was saying was uh, that lead damage, you can see that you know, with lead damage stacking up and ticking. Um, my, my bleeds aren't, you know, I'm not at lead build right now, so it's not doing overly great damage, but still, it, you know, it does put pressure right now, I think it's taking for anywhere from 50 to 60, um, so that, that's, that's extra, you know, 150, uh, that's coming in, uh, each second just from that explosion, uh, so the, overall, I, I think it's, you know, the bleed damage, though it's not the primary, uh, Thing for the build, it does still offer us the dock's been somewhat captured. of a um, thing, especially if somebody's running away from you or some dots on them. Yeah, one thing it, like uh, is that you have a ground target for this, so. Uh, that I found a little annoying. I mean, it has its perks, but um, overall, I would have been happy if there was a if there was a way to kind of target and use a targeted. Uh, Your team is uh, I didn't do too good to uh, You've well lost the dog. This match up again. I wasn't really concerned with getting points and getting kills. Uh, anyway, so this has been brought to you by Kali PvP. It's my joke builder of the week. Uh, I'll po actually post up a video. Uh, later on. Uh, if you guys like it, subscribe, like the video, and um, I'll see you guys later.